it's Bunny Gamer and today I'm going to be showing you how to make this really cool potty. I just love it, it's so fun to play with. Yeah, I'm sort of obsessed at the minute. <laughs> you just move it around, break bits off, stick it back on again. You can also, if you want, if you have balloons or old sock or something, you could put it in it. Like to make a stress ball. Or you could just have it as a stress ball, the way it is, which is what I'm going to do. So yeah, it's great fun, you can colour it, which is optional, the way I did mine. So, I coloured mine, but the one I'm doing, I'm not going to colour. I'll just colour it after. <laughs> so you're, all you're going to need for this is some hand soap. You can use any brand, just the squirty stuff, so it's like not grating it. Some flour, and that's it the, for the ingredients. And then obviously you're going to need something to... Uh, mix it with and something to mix it in. I've got some stuff in mind just from the trial run. So you're just going to start by pouring some of your soap into your cup or bowl or whatever. So just some soap in there. Ignore the flour I was doing a practice run. And you're going to pour a load of flour on top of it. You will need a lot of flour for like each bit like each ball or whatever depending on how much you want because it's really like sticky and all yeah it's great fun to play with you don't have to color it but if you want to um food coloring just use food coloring to color it you will need to use your hands a bit for this just to like sort of move it about like that whilst it's still wet so it'll actually form but it won't be that like it won't be that wet that your hands go like soaking <laughs> but they may get a little sticky so <coughs> excuse me so you're just going to mix in more flour as much as you need depending on like how much soup you put in and all and just keep mixing it and if it gets stuck on your utensil like this just wipe it off in your pot again and then oh, get off your fingers as well <laughs> and then <coughs> excuse me keep mixing it all together so that it forms it won't like literally form itself into a ball it'll be all like that like all uh i know like in little bits and you have to like lift it out with your hands and just squish it. One squish will get it to form into like one piece, if you know what I mean. And then like just keep squishing that together. And if you want to add more, but you've realised you've like done a wee tiny bit like that, you can just put that aside and put more soap into your container. More flour and just oh whoa that was a lot more flour and like just do the same process again so you keep mixing it till it forms and it's little pieces that aren't sticky <laughs> it's really hard to describe and as you know from my other videos i'm really bad at describing things <laughs> and like talking about them so yeah you know what i mean so you just keep mixing it and bashing it so that the inside like isn't just all sticky and then the outside's floured. So yeah, you just want to keep mixing that together, crushing it and all. And like, if it keeps sticking like that, you just need to keep mixing and breaking it off and adding more flour. And yeah, you do need a little bit of patience for this because it will take a bit of time, you know, just to form itself. But yeah. It doesn't take that long and it's great because like once you've got it into your like putty sort of bit like this here you can color it you, it's optional you don't have to but if you want to like mine i put loads of red into that and it's not very red at all just because mine's so big well it's not that big but like for the amount of food coloring i put in so yeah, it'll turn out like that and yeah, it's really fun to play with so make sure to like 
and if you're not already subscribe and comment down below for more uh, videos that you would like me to do and enjoy